What is a grade 2 placenta? Hello everyone. In today's session we're going to talk about something very specific in the world of obstetrics, the grade 2 placenta. The placenta is an essential organ in pregnancy, providing oxygen and nutrients to the growing fetus. Let's delve deeper to understand what exactly does it mean when your doctor refers to a grade 2 placenta. What is placental grading? Placental grading refers to a classification system that's used to describe the maturity of the placenta during pregnancy. This grading system, introduced by Granham and colleagues in the late 1970s, uses ultrasound to determine the structure and texture of the placenta, which can provide important information about the health and progress of a pregnancy. Grading ranges from 0 to 3, with 0 being the least mature and 3 being the most mature. What is a grade 2 placenta? A grade 2 placenta typically appears around the 30th to 36th weeks of pregnancy. This grade indicates that the placenta is maturing and aging normally. On an ultrasound, it can be identified by the presence of scattered, small white areas known as calcifications within the placental matter. These indicate areas where the placenta is aging and hardening, which is a normal part of placental development. Furthermore, the chorionic plate, the part of the placenta attached to the uterus, starts to get indented, which is another sign of normal aging. What does a grade 2 placenta mean for my pregnancy? Having a grade 2 placenta in the third trimester is perfectly normal and is a good sign that your placenta is maturing as expected. However, if a grade 2 placenta is seen earlier in pregnancy, it might suggest that the placenta is aging more quickly than normal which could possibly indicate problems such as gestational diabetes or high blood pressure. Therefore, while the grading system can be a helpful tool, it's also important to consider other factors when assessing the health of a pregnancy. We hope this discussion on grade 2 placenta helps you understand what it means and how it's used in the field of obstetrics. As always, if you have any concerns about your pregnancy, it's best to consult with your healthcare provider who can interpret these findings in the context of your overall health and pregnancy. Thanks for joining in today, and we wish you a healthy and safe pregnancy journey.